So when we talk about fluorescence, fluorescence is formed in the kimberlite of the Earth's mantle when diamonds are formed. It's a natural gas Everybody that occurs good? in it. What's up? It's a gas that turns a diamond from a going? light blue to a strong blue or a light yellow to a medium yellow. You can't control it. But they just have these characteristics to them. When you're purchasing a diamond, it's always better to buy a diamond with no fluorescence. Sometimes you see a milky look, a milky kind of haze when you're looking at fluorescence. So as I'm looking at this pendant that Ron purchased, I take the fluorescent light and I put it on the stone. Right there, it's coming up blue. I take the next stone and it comes up yellow. So this has like a strong blue and a, and a strong yellow fluorescence to it. The top stone, let's see what that is. That has no fluorescence in it. So that's how fluorescence works. But I will tell you something. When a woman goes to a manicurist and they use now these ultraviolet lights to dry their gel nails, you see what fluorescence is in their diamond rings. Because people come to me all the time and they go, I was, in the I was in the, under the lights at the manicurist and there's all this blue fluorescence.